Polo said he saw himself a bit of a twinkling thing. Let's go see if he was right about the thing being a bit twinkly. Failing that, there is flower for me to stomp. Die, nature! Nature is a chump and I hates it. Alright, and I don't remember. Ooh, hey, sunken soul. Baller. Alright, well, already worth it. I'ma snip you. And you know what? I'ma snip you too. Haha, <laughs> you got snipped on, nerd. There you go. That's what you get for underestimating the power of the Shantae Crab. She is all powerful. Let's see. Uh, aha! Something to snip. Just what I thought. Just as I suspected. Always good to give it the old snip a do, snip a da. Huh. There you are. And for the record, you can't untransform uh, in, uh, into Shantae while underwater. I never made that clear. Let's see. Anything else that needs a good snipping? I got some snippers. I'll snip with the best of them. Uh, the answer is nay. A resounding nay, unfortunately. All right, then. Then we float. We float. We float. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counterfeit Naga. Get out of here. Yeah, right. Don't need any of that. Huh. Luckily for my brainscape, I actually do know of at least one other thing that we can get here. Other than the thing that is, oh, being requested for story progression. So that's nice. There it is. And I go. It's time to be a meese. Uh, wait, no. Wrong place. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, 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 hang on. There we are. Ah, nuts. Nuts! Nuts and gum together at last. Come on. Just keep mousing. Always be mousing. Wait, why did I do this? Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, hold, hold up. Hold up, why did I do this? This seems to be entirely pointless. I know that there's definitely something that I can do as a mouse around here. Ah! All right, well, that is something. Why give me the runaround like that, game? You think you're funny? Because you are, you're actually, like, legitimately hysterical. WayForward are very good at making games that are hilarious. But I remain confused by your choice to do what you done did. Alright. Yep, there's definitely all that business. Aha! Defeated you! Very good, very good! Alright, break stuff, get stuff. The million and a half dollar question is, where is the entry point to this mess? I need the entryway. Let's go. Let's freaking go, I say. Alright. Uh -huh. Okay, hold up, hold up. First things first, we get rid of your business. Always be getting rid of her business. Also this. And a little bit of that. There we go. Let's try this real quick. Small chance it might work. Twas a small chance indeed. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see if Shantae's butt silk is enough. Huh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. And is but also no that's not gonna work that's clearly not going to work it was almost on to something there uh, I mean I know of a transformation that would absolutely 100% no questions asked whatsoever absolute god damn it absolutely get me up there 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. There must be something more. There must be something more. If I could just... I could- if only I could! If only I could! Sleepy Monkey! Man! All kinds of frustrating is what this is. Alright, well... Whatever secrets lie and wait around these lands, I can still get. I'll just come back when I've got a bit more going for me. I guess. <sighs> Most unfortunate. Now, let's see here. How did that happen? Alright, so... Bolo said something about a shining, shimmering, splendid around here somewhere. Huh. Yep, yep, getting rid of your business. Getting rid of all of your business. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I see how it is. Alright. Gladly take all of your contributions to the First National Bank of Shantae's wallet. Ah, alright, well. Eh. Thank you very much. Appreciated. Appreciated. Uh. There you go. I, how did I get a roast from a bat? How does that make any sense? That's just silly. Uh. Alright. Question, question, question is... Was there a stomp a -doo block somewhere around these ear parts? The last time I was around? That is the question. Are we gonna be getting ourselves a bit of an answer is what we gonna be doing? After I whip a gator. And burn a bat. And grab some money too. Hell yes. Crabs do not respond well to fire, as it turns out. Who knew? Aha! Stoppable! Good, good, good. Eh. There we are. What's this? It's a gallery key. Alright, well. It's something I needed to collect eventually. So, yeah. Alright, sure. We'll just go ahead and count that as a victory for us. Why not? Ow. You're rude! Absolutely disgusting. Get out of my face, you. Ooh, hang on. No, I don't want to be a meese. I wanted to be a monkey. There's such a big difference between mouse and monkey. I shouldn't even have to explain that to you, you silly, silly video game. Come on now. Do you not know your basic zoology? And do I not have basic hand eye coordination? Come on now. Huh? What the? Come on! Be a monkey. Thank you. Is it so hard to just be a monkey? I don't think so. I mean, I guess if you weren't originally, you know, born a monkey, it can be rather difficult to become the monkey. But, you know, when you when you were dang genie and you got magic dances that turned you into a monkey, it shouldn't be a problem, dang it. Simpo as that. Any other secrets deep down in the depths? I mean, Bolo did still say he saw something, unless he saw the key. Which, I mean, I guess he could have. I guess that's totally a thing. That's totally an option, I guess. Rude! Uh, Alright, just keep doing the thing. Huh. I guess it's possible that it was just a key. Or maybe he saw something else that requires a different power. Huh. Well, regardless, we did get a cold. So, you know, we got that going. Plus, again, I, I was able to get some more. I got some more scrap metal from stomping the things. I got a gallery key. It wasn't a, it wasn't an, a completely fruitless endeavor. We got stuff. As long as I get stuff, it's not a waste of time. Is what I'm telling myself. That said, I really should probably head back into, uh, into, to, to, to the burning lands once more. I can do some, I can do, I can do snippings. I'll probably be able to collect at least a couple new things or, or whatnot. Regardless. Ah, there we go. Alright. Pooh! Uh, oh, hello, what's the reason for seeing me today? Alright, nope. 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 
Yeah, I need a checkup. I'm sick. You don't look so good. Do you want to get that checked out? Yeah. You gave the sick. Oh, you're not feeling your usual self? How long has this been going on? Hmm. I think I have just the thing. Okay, you're going to feel a tiny poke like a viper digging its fangs deep into your throat. I'm kidding around. You're already cured just like that. I bet you didn't even see or feel it. Here. Lollipop! Yay! That's for being a good patient. Come back and see me in six months for that physical exam. No snacks the night before. Not even water. You can find your way out by going through that door. Yeah, I know how doors work. Golly. Oh, ah, oh, accidentally knocked something off my desk. Anyway. Yeah, sure, why not? I've never done it before. A stranger inside the desert tower needs your help. Want another hint? Yeah, uh, I kind of did that already. The doctor over there is said to be the only person who can cure sickness. Come on. Travelers speak of a magical gateway near the eastmost waterfall at Mermaid Falls. Whatever's hidden there must be important. Okay. So then what that tells me is that there was something I could do that entire ding-dang time. That is where the light... Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's on me. That's on me. All right. I'll just go ahead and figure out what all that mess is about. And we will get the, the thing that we're looking for. Ah. Let's see. Maybe... Is this too much? Not enough? Is it... What do we got? What do we got? Hey, there you go. That's how you do it. I gave up too soon. That's the thing, people. You gotta not give up. Sometimes just a little stick to itiveness is all you need. All right, so it's been a while. Can I bite this thing? I can. I can bite the monstrosity. Good, good. As If you didn't get that, you'd have to actually, like, avoid them the whole damn time, and it'd be a big pain in the ass. Ah, this way we can just chomp the stupid worm things, and we got nothing to worry about. There we go. Now we begin our extraordinarily long quest through all of the various nooks and crannies of uh, Mermaid Falls. Don't worry, they're not suspicious, though, so we don't need to investigate them. But still, be cognitive of, a, cognitive of them. Eh. Get out of here, you nerd. I ain't got time for worm ways. Hello. And I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. We accept and we appreciate. In we go again. Obviously more to it than this. Chomp. Y'all gonna get chomped on, you nerd. There you go. Woo. It ain't easy being a mouse. Got any idea how small you are at all given moments of time? Takes a day and a half to get damn near anywhere. Hello. And I chomp. I chomp. I will continue to chomp until there ain't nothing left to chomp. I'll tell you that. Chomp. Ow! How dare you chomp me? I chomp you! It is a never-ending supply of chompitude. Chompitude most cray. Oh, no! Dang it. Okay, finally back, and about time to, this time, I'm not going to fall out of the dang thing like a moron. Chomp! There we go. And I was, that was like the last possible place you could have actually messed up to. Because of course it was, why would I have expected any difference? Oh. Anyway, give me your stuff. Yo, more health. Never going to say no to that. I obviously need as much of it as I can possibly manage. All right, let's go once more. To heck with you, you random worm. All right, no, it was not the last place I could have possibly... Was it? If I pop... Oh, okay, so yes, that was something that I needed to do. And I'm glad to have done it. But I am absolutely nowhere anywhere closer to... Having the light shard. Hmm. Well, my basest instincts tell me that I should be getting it through the lollipop. So somebody around town must have a sweet tooth or something. 
Then again, why would it said why would it, why would the hint lady have said that if it wasn't plot critical? Hmm. The mysteries just never stop being mysterious. I am absolutely and tivily missing something. Yeah, you did see him. Yeah, you saw that. Yep, yeah, I definitely could and did. Um. Hmm. Looking for a light shard. There's a strange hermit who lives in the desert tower. Fascinating. All right, well, first things first before I go off on an expedition. How terrible! I lost all ten gallery keys while I was out traveling the world! Since you're out of job, how about you go find them for me? Why are you gonna be like that? If you find all ten gallery keys, I'll give you something or other. Yeah, all right, well, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> As if it weren't incredibly obvious. All right. Uh, I knew there was gonna be a point when I was gonna get a little stuck. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Plus, I get free money the entire time, so win-win for me. Ah, ha! There you are. Ah, that's why that one dead end is there. To train you to look for stuff like this. There we go. All right. Now we are officially on a path that we were not on before. Which always, almost always, leads to good things. Everybody cross your fingers and buckle your pants. Because we're hoping that this works out in our favor. We are. Okay. Have I not done this already before? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. We going to find out. I definitely not, and I've definitely never gone through that entry point before. It also wouldn't have been where I came out of. So that would, uh, would all track. It would all track very well. There's a wizard. There's your damn wizard. Oi. Oi. Thank you. Ah. Oh my gosh, a wizard, right? Well, don't worry. I'm a good wizard. You got any candy? I'm a sucker for candy. In fact, I'd raise a town to the ground just to get my hands on some sugary sweet. <laughs> Ignore that. Inside voice. <laughs> but I could use some candy. Wait a tick. I thought you didn't have any candy. But now you do? I always had candy. Here you go. Wow! I mean, wow! Candy out of nowhere! You, my friend, are a real wizard. Here, for you! Thank you! Woo! That one gave me the runaround. That's a light shard made out of crystal. Wizards gotta have a crystal, right? Am I right? Answer me! Ah, uh, just kidding. We're good. You enjoy that. Thank you, weird, creepy wizard guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, best to not talk to that guy again. Moving on! Moving right along in life, we don't want to deal with that mess no more. Mm -mm. No sorry, babo. No sorry, babo. Now send me back to your hatchery, you maiden of the skies, of which is named Sky. Yeah, there you go. His name is very fitting, you see. All right, then. So now I've got the doodad at long last, and all I had to do was talk to a creepy wizard. You found a light shard. That's for me, right? No, it's for Bolo. He needed a nightlight. It attaches right next to the dark shard. Right up. Now. Here. Wonderful. There's only one piece left, Uncle. Yep. We're almost at the end. Oh, gosh. Speaking of which, I need to get out of here. Good. After all, yeah, no one cares. Go away. Roddy, why do you keep saying that? Eh? Oh, haven't you heard? About? The end of the world. The Hypno Baron is summoning a creature of unspeakable horror. I want to squeeze in as much fun as possible before the beast begins its world-ending rampage. Say ha! Actually, I could use a lift. I'm going to ask Featherhead for a ride to Hypno Baron's castle. Maybe I can get a front row seat. Here's a map if you want to come. Why you always got to be like this? Sigh. See ya! Yeah, I'll bet. There's no way I can stand by and let the Hypno Baron summon giant, some giant beast. Just one more time, Uncle. Th then I promise to help you finish your machine. Uh, so many distractions today. Just promise you'll be careful. I will, Uncle. 
If the world ends, I'm taking tomorrow off. Fair enough. You know what? I, I, I got to say that makes a lot of sense. All right. Just making sure you guys ain't saying nothing new again. You isn't. You isn't. All right. Now, item shop. Yes, hello, and welcome to shop where things can be bought and life is good. All right, uh, yeah, you go ahead and give me that mega shampoo. Mega shampoo, and also give me that silky cream. Thank you. All right. Yeah! Now we're hitting for massive damage, people. Absolute massive damage. It's gonna be some good times. Some very good times. Huh. All righty. Sky, let me guess. You want to ride to Hypno Baron's castle? How'd you know? That fair weather friend of yours just tried to bum a ride. Oh. She'll lead you straight into trouble. Yeah, I know. But I had to stop the Hypno Baron. Typical. Don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, I gotta stop the Hypno Baron from being a Hypno Baron. I mean, come on now. He's doing some nefarious bad things. It's kind of his whole thing is doing bad things. He's a pretty bad guy. That's how he rolls, man. There he is. Oh, and only two things hidden away, too. That's nice. That's a nice thing that's different right there. I appreciate that. Nobody asked. Ronnie Tops, wait up. That lousy sky. No good bird brain made me walk all the way here. And I just changed legs last week. Don't be mad. I'm sure you'll find uh, even new, even better legs. Anyway, tell me this uh, monster the Hypno Baron is conjuring. Oh, the creature of unspeakable horror. I heard my brothers talking about it. I guess the Hypno Baron came to them for advice. He said he needed a creature evil enough to rip open the fabric of space-time and wash away humankind in a sea of eternal woe. There's something along those lines. My brother told him how to summon the horror. In exchange, we got a whole sack of sequin land select dark almond roast. God, I do not care for you, Roddy. You guys doomed humanity for a bag of coffee? Well, it was before 9 a.m., so... All right, I'm going to go find my way into Hypno Baron's summoning chamber and stop his plan before it happens. Coolio, I'll watch fireworks from here. Yeah, you do that. God forbid you be useful. I'd like to just point out for the record and everybody at home that this is not even the second time. Not even the second time that Ruddy Tops has sold out all of existence for the sake of something incredibly mundane. <sighs> she scarred. It do be creepy. And also, there do be lanterns that be causing big fires. Don't need that in our lives. Oh, spooky dude. No good. Spooky dude. I don't like the spooky dude. Huh. No spooky dudes. No spooky dudes allowed in my house. Well, it's not my house, but no, no spooky dudes allowed in any house. Get out of here. Get out of here, you no good skeleton. You skeleton-angelist. Skeleton-angelando. Gelato. Why did I turn into a bat? Bats, bats get you nothing. Bats get you nowhere. Oi. All right, well, now I am here. Hey, it's the Goopy Girl. There you go. Yeah, so that's 100% uh, the, definitely a character designed by a backer of the game. Uh, of course they'd create a slime girl. Anyway, fake treasure. It's full of ghost. It's full of the nefarious and, and gloomy ghost girl. I don't want to deal with no ghost girl. Ow. I just wanted to save a small amount of time and not have to deal with the mess. Rude. Uh, nope. I say the nay. Nay, 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 nay. I say nay, 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 nay. Uh, hang on. Hold up. Before I go that way, let me head this way first. And up. Oh, there you go. Get out of my face, goopy girl. I ain't got time for you. Although, I probably should actually maybe show what it is they do, huh? Yep, that's what they do. There you go. You can pretty much instantaneously kill them if you just uh, kind of transform while inside them. It's weird. I can see. It's weird. Now well, we go all the way over here. Thank you. Treasure. Treasure. Yay. Huh. For once, a ghost didn't pop out and try to do me a murder. Ain't that incredibly nice. Alright. Now that we got that all squared, I can now turn into a monkey and climb up here. Oh. How is a flower even growing up and down over here? Oh. 
A flower that only had money inside of it. One of them no good money flowers. Ugh. Literally has absolutely no worth whatsoever. Damn money flowers. Always be messing with things. Alright, you know, hang on. I don't think that this will work, but let's try it anyway. Uh, well, I tried. I tried. Uh, let's see, maybe... Uh, no, no, that won't work either. Oh, no, it totally did. It did work. Oh, hey. Uh, I think that's Poe. Uh, nobody asked him. Get, get out of here, you stupid bat. Jesus. Causing me all kinds of problems. There you go. Look at all that effort I went through to get just a small amount of money. Woo! Ain't that swell. All right, well. No, don't do Don't be doing that. Don't be doing all that mess. All right. You know, let's activate the pike balls. There you go. Ah. Why you gotta be all like that, fire? There you go. Bonus damage. Ah. I am not using my pike balls correctly at all. But don't worry. The pike balls will get their due in a matter of moments. Huh. Oi. Eh. There. Get out of here, dang it! Alright, now that is 100% the way to finish this particular part. But there are, like, spooky dudes. Maybe those spooky dudes aren't to be dealt with right now. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Going to come back to every level at least once. So, we'll probably just deal with their mess later. Until then, ow, we'll have to deal with this mess. Not the biggest fan of this mess. Oh, all right, well. You'll have to forgive me. It looked like it was about to wear off a whole lot faster than it ended up actually wearing off. Oh, all right, let's go. We got my butt. Wiggle that little sound, little sound day, but wiggle. Oh, wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. What, what, uh, okay, that it didn't activate that time. Interesting. Hup. Oh. Yep. There you go. There you go. All right, slow and steady. It'll save you biscuits. And now we've got Spider Lady. All right. We've got Spider Lady, who can use her pointy parts to be a shield. All right, but now she is nothing but a big pile of bones. She is turbo dead. Turbo dead! Ugh, which is the best thing for my enemies to be, of course. My, oh, hey, now you're trying to drop damn lanterns. Freaking birds. Freaking birds, man. Always be causing problems. Always trying to ice skate up hills. Oh, and that one fell down to his death. Or re-death, as it were. I'm not exactly sure on the strict terminologies at hand here. Huh. All right, and go! Go! Once more with panache, we go! As we do a jaunty little shante jig. Her idle animation is just so top tier. My god. <laughs> My god, it's amazing. All right. No! I say nay! I will smite all of the skeletons. Ow, oh, why do you have to continue to exist? Every time I'm having a good day, you just show up and decide to be a giant spider woman. Why you gotta be this way? There you go. Let's see here. Let's see. Yep. Show, yeah, show me the moves. Show me the moves. But I can't buy Obliterate. Ah, that's the last one, too. Let's see. Trade, Obliterate for that one. The Warp Dance for the Gem Jug Dance. Yeah, sure, let's do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and use that, then. Uh, not the best place to use this, I can't help but notice. Uh, let's try a different location with maybe... Uh-oh, that can't be good. Well... Welp, 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 welp. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Wait, no. God damn it. Why am I so bad at everything that I do? Oh, okay. That time it worked. 
That time, for reasons unknown to me, it totally worked. Thanks for the free money, I guess. Keep going, keep going. Avoid the pointies. Shantae is not a fan of the pointies. We don't need that in our lives. Free health. More spider lady? Why? Why spider lady must exist? I do not like spider lady. Her crimes are innumerable. And... Oh, nope, nothing up there. All right, then. Switch over to the bike balls, and we're good. Let's go. Let's freaking get this done. Hypno Baron, your chanting days are over, mister. Blarg, it's you. Eh, no matter. My incantation is already complete. Gasp! Tremble in fear as you witness the end of your world. No. Behold, the creature of unspeakable horror! And it's just freaking Squid Baron. Yo! Huh? Squid Baron? Why are you even here? Check it! I've reached fifth boss status! And this joke doesn't really work too great if this is your first Shantae game. But it, it's hilarious if it's your fourth! That's one step away from top billing! I'd be surprised if I didn't name a game after me. Shantae versus the important Squid Baron, they'd call it. No, Squid Baron's quest starring Shantae! In fact, just make it a Squid Baron game. I'll even let you get in cheap DLC if you ask nicely. You could be a color palette swap. 99 cents sounds about right. You're out of your mind, Squid Baron! First of all, the titles always have a colon or and the in the name. Second, a Squid Baron spin-off game would only appeal to a subset of the same audience, so it's gonna sell like buns. How embarrassing. And third, swapping my color palette for yours would make you red and purple, which you already are! <laughs> How dare you! Let's do this a bull crazy style! Kill the funky bass, boss track and come at me! Squid Baron, creature of unspeakable horror. And he's gonna be using his usual styles. Huh. Yep. He's just bouncing around like the Squid Baron always do. Ow! And now he's gonna use his squid missiles. I don't need to know any more about that. Nobody needs any information about that in Sun Trees. No, thank you. And, whoop, oh, okay. Next, he's gonna do a big temper tantrum. Oh. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go down. Come on, be defeated. Ow, oh, be cool, Squid Baron. Come on. Come on, ow. God, why? Why you be all like this? Ow, why you be all like this, Squid? Goddamn Squid's all up in my business. Constantly causing squid-related problems. I swear. Come on! Blow up! Thank you! Jeez! The audacity of this lad, I swear. I swear! And now it's the Duel Barons! Dastardly duo. Why he waited so long to actually do that, I don't know. Either way, time to defeat both of them now. Pike ball time! Man, once you drop that Baron... There we go, alright. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I will defeat you, Baron! Ah! Uh. Oh my god, you're making this so difficult! There we go, alright. No more Squid Baron. Ugh, now we just have to deal with the Hypno Baron and his extraordinarily annoying flight pattern. Hang on, let me just eat some egg. There you go. Egg. Huh. Okay! Huh. Ow. Uh, just keep slapping him. Slap the Baron, ow. Slap the Baron. Slap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Slap, slap, slap. Oh my god. Get hit more often. Be less of a jerk. 
I said be less of a jerk. There we go. Substantially less HP than the squid. Ha! Huh. And there you friggin' go. Oh my gosh, I think I blew him up for good. I hope you're happy now, Hypno Baron. He might have been a big jerk face, but deep down he just wanted to be loved. Oh, he will be. You see, I summoned him here to option his merchandising rights. Say what? Squid Bear and hats and mugs and t-shirts, crewnecks and raglans. But whatever happened to ripping open the fabric of space-time and washing away humankind in the sea of eternal woe? Who told you that? No, it's gracing the fabric of leisure time and blowing away humankind in the sea of heavy weave 100% cotton comfort. Oh. Squid Bear and merch will fund evil for all eternity. <laughs> I'm going home to take a very long, very hot bath. Surpri Surprise, shock, and awe, everybody. Roddy Top's freaking lied again. Because that's all she ever does! Ugh! So tired of that. Anyway, it's about that time. How about you give me the single best transformation that there ever what was? Yep, yeah, I want that transformation. Gimme. It's my favorite one. Harpy Dance! Oh, thank goodness. Use the power to fly through the air. It's like the bat, but obviously better. Also, look at her. Look how freaking adorable she is. There you go. Hell yeah. Now we can fly any which way that we dang well so want to go. Unrestricted access to anything and everything that we want. Ah, <sighs> fantastic. Very happy about that. Congratulations! You thwarted evil five times in a single day! That's gotta be a new personal best. Being a genie that's only half hero sure isn't easy. She's all hero, you ding dong! I know what you meant, and thanks. <laughs> I'm not gonna correct you because I know what you were going for. But now I really owe it to Uncle to get that final component. So, what is it anyway, Uncle? Uh, according to this... Oh dear, hmm... The blueprints show a hand crank mechanism, but that's no good. Here's where your old uncle gets his chance to shine. Groan. That's right, we're going to improvise! Why turn the wheel at all when we can rig up a hamster wheel to do the work for us? I don't know, that sounds like bad news for some hamster. Hey, I know! A regular hamster would get tired and need to rest, right? But a zombie hamster will run happily all day long. Brilliant! It's settled then. The zombie hamster will be our perpetual energy source. And I'll forge the hamster wheel out of iron to reduce heat on his little monster toes. We're seriously going with this plan? Ah, okay, Roddy Tops. This sounds like this is your department. Where can I find a zombie hamster? Eh, yeah. how about I just get a regular one and bite it? I think that's how Poe got his. If your brother already has a zombie hamster, why didn't you say so in the first place? Because I'm incredibly terrible at everything. <laughs> I like being obnoxious. Ugh. And what about the iron slab? For that, you'll need to ask around town. Got it. One zombie hamster and one iron slab coming right up. Ugh! Freaking Roddy. Those cute zombie brothers were spotted over by the castle. Yep, that would be why. Legend tells of a relic which allows harpies to fire shots through the air. Oh, you don't say. A, plink, a pink blob-like woman came here. Oh, uh, looking for you. She's hanging around here somewhere. I just saw the Azura Knight over at the item shop. Cool, but what about Blobby Grandma? Movie trivia. Have you ever seen the animated classic, The Little Bog Sahagin? It's a classic tale of a fish girl who dreams of marrying an iron slab. Fun fact, it's a true story. The fish girl's underwater cave really exists somewhere beneath the desert oasis. If you could blast open the passageway, you could see the object of her affection. Yeah, you don't say. Long ago, mermaids could blast powerful bubbles by waving their tails. These days, only elderly sea creatures know the technique. Great, now I- <gasps> Elderly sea creatures! I know one of those. The Adventure Man was sucked into a sewer pipe beneath Main Street. Interesting. I hear there's a secret at the top of the factory, but you need a way to hover up there. You don't say. Oh, hey, Honey Melon. Just me, Grandma Blobfish, same as before. My grandkids are off watching the move and picture shows. Do you think my hat looks too old-fashioned? The grandkids say I need to find a new hat. I don't know, something more modern is called for, I suppose. Can you help me out again? Find me a hat that looks nice? Oh, wait right here, same as before. All right. I'll find you a mighty hat. 
of that you can be most assured. Let's see here. Just need to... Oh, wait. The item shop. The item shop. Gotta see the... Gotta see the knight first. I am the Azra Knight! You! Were you sent forth by the Crimson Knight to retrieve his regal headwear? I would not yield it to a knave such as yon. How of him stance? I would be inclined to bequeath it to you. Shalt thine provides me with a fine vorporal braid doused in the tears of a saddened newborn orangutan. Thou mightst procure said blade by descending into the ocean depths, into the putrid sewers, and to the place where the adventure man will challenge you. If thou art successful in summoning his cerebral tournament of trickery and deception, and deliver unto me the vorporal blade beneath the setting sun touches the vast ocean, the regal headwear shall be thine's. In other words, go to the place, do the thing, get a hat. That's basically more or less what he's trying to get at. More or less thereabouts and all that jazz. And you best believe that's exactly what we's gonna be going to do's. Let's freaking go!